my story. I didn't always know that I wanted to do test prep, uh, guidance, whatever it is that I'm doing now. Um, <laughs> back in the day, I thought that I was going to be a lawyer. I was great at speaking. I loved arguing with people, my mother in particular. Um, <laughs> Uh, she's here. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm going to be a lawyer. I'm going to be a great lawyer. You're so articulate. You'll be great. And yeah, I, I probably would have been good. Year one, I applied to Penn, NYU, Harvard, Columbia. My grades were a little bit below the medians. Um, Waitlisted to all four. I only applied to all four because in my head, those are the only four that I'm going to go to. So why would I apply somewhere that I wasn't going to go? Right, so I'm just applying there, I'm waitlisted. I'm supposed to be starting law school in September. I have nothing to do, I wait right through the summer, sitting on the wait list, um, and I don't get in, so I have nothing to do. So I take a gap year and I work, or whatever it is that I do, and the following year I don't change my grades, even though I probably should have uh, you know, taken the standardized test again, just change my approach, just my approach. Um, and I applied to Harvard, NYU, Penn, and Columbia again, but also to Wash U, Berkeley, Vanderbilt, UCLA, USC, <laughs> Michigan, Northwestern, Georgetown, and I paid for all of these applications on my own. It cost me two grand. Um, you'll see that that was probably one of the best investments that I ever made. Um, so I applied to all of these schools. Now, Morris, we. You, you were going to go to Berkeley in California? First of all, I would have wanted to go there, honestly. You were going to go to Vanderbilt in Nashville? No, not at all. This is part of a strategy. Watch how the strategy works, okay? And that year, I get my results. And again, I'm waitlisted at the schools that I got waitlisted at because my application was unchanged. There's no reason why I shouldn't have been waitlisted. Um, and I got accepted to a couple of prestigious options, which was great. But I'm still on the waitlist this year now. What do I do? Um, well. Using the strategy that I did, I got off the wait list at NYU, Penn, Michigan, and Berkeley. All right, I'm going to tell you the strategy. You're going to use it in your application. It's going to make a big difference. Two key concepts. Leverage. I have backup options. Leverage. And intent. And I'm going to show you what intent means in a second. Components of your college application. GPA, SAT, personal statements is your essay. Tell them who you are. Obvious why that's important. Resume. What have you been doing? If you're not doing anything, by the way, Start doing stuff. Anything that you like. I don't care if it's writing reviews, becoming an Xbox champion, at least play competitively. Do anything aside for nothing, okay? So that's resume. You have to have something to do. Supplements in red for a reason. They're these weird essays. Why do you want to go to Cooper Union? Why do you want to go to Barnard? Why do you want to go to NYU? Why do you want to go to GW? What do I know? You know, I remember when I applied undergrad. Why do you want to go to Penn? Uh, there are Jews there. It's ranked fourth. Uh, ben Franklin went there. You know, I don't understand what they even want to know. What are you asking me for? What do I know? Okay, it's a good school. I want to go to the best school I could get into. I don't understand the rationale behind the question. Crack the rationale. There's a term called yield rate. It's the percentage of students admit, accepted to a college that attend. So let's say Vanderbilt. Half of the people that get into Vanderbilt go. Why? Because the other half go to Harvard, Princeton, Yale, probably, right? 80% of the people that get into Harvard go. Only 20% reject Harvard. Now, that number is important to colleges for a number of reasons. It helps them modulate their class. It shows how desirable they are as a college. And if you go online and you search around for the term yield rate, you'll see all kinds of articles of schools boasting about their yield rate. Now, what colleges realize is if I have the common application and I could just click through, click and apply, click and apply, even people in this room that are only going to NYU would click. You know, if it only costs $50, they'll click. But if they have to write an essay, why NYU? Oh, no, I'm not applying to NYU. Harvard makes you write six individual, you know, okay, I'm not applying there, right? And it works. Um, and that way, they, you only apply if you're serious. So that's their goal. Now, once I got behind that rationale, uh, I was able to flip the whole system on itself. So UCLA. I was supposed to get into UCLA. It's the 15th ranked school. I got into better schools than UCLA. Why didn't I get in? Did it make sense? Something called yield protection. Morris, you're not coming to UCLA. We're not a great school. You're going to, to uh, Michigan. You're going to Northwestern. We're not going to take you. We're going to wait list you. If you want to come, email us and let us know. So I emailed them. They, uh, they didn't tell me this. This is, uh, thank you so much for considering me. I'd like to state up front, UCLA is my first choice. Is it my first? No, it's, uh, obviously not. I will attend if admitted 100%. Okay. Oh, why UCLA, you ask? Biographies, Professor Corkabin, this is my favorite part. 
Uh, Clyde Spillinger, he's a member of a rock and roll trio. He plays saxophone just like me. I was very into music then. Uh, as a performing jazz saxophonist myself, the integration of music and law elicited a grin off the wait list. Um, okay, I emailed Penn. Thank you so much for considering me, Alex, said up front. University of Pennsylvania is my first choice. I've been made on the 10th. Why Penn, uh, do you ask? Uh, David Abrams, economic models, incentives. I don't even know. I was reading through their bios, their findings, stuff that they do. I ordered Professor Stuart Diamond's book on Amazon. I don't know why. I don't even think that, you know, I didn't read it, but I figured owning it would boost my chances. <laughs> Stefanos Bibas. You know, I don't know who, off the wait list. Michigan Law, and my first choice. Uh, if admitted, I'll attend. Uh, why Michigan, you ask? The whole, the whole spiel. End up in all of these schools. NYU, I went as crazy as that was my real first choice. I want to go to NYU. I went as crazy as starting to send them, you know, here's an email that we just sent out to our, our SAT students and their parents. Look at how professional I am. Sent it out. Uh, <laughs> Here's a video I just shot on this. Look at how cool I am. Uh, here, if I had this video, forget about it. I'd be flooding there. I think I'd be Instagram live in the videos into their mailboxes. Um, and I got into NYU the, on the last week, which was wild. Not only did I end up getting off of these wait lists, I ended up getting uh, full ride scholarships from some of the places that I was waitlisted at. Uh, I got a full ride from Wash U leveraged that into a full ride at Fordham, emailed Northwestern, which was a better ranked school. They gave me a full ride. That domino fell and now they're all tumbling. I'm getting full rides from everyone. 200, they're handing you $165,000. I, I thought I was gonna pay it out of pocket um, and they're handing it to me. And then Michigan, from wait list to free, free, come to Michigan for free, emailed me, you're in. Oh, also, by the way, you're in for free. It was uh, incredible. At the end of the day, I didn't go to any of these schools, um, so all of their yield rates suffered. Uh, I realized that this is far more fun. Uh, I like you know, doing my own thing. I think I'm making a difference. I'm a kind of idealistic guy, I guess. I don't know. Uh, what? Did you get into I got into NYU, but uh, not for free. But, but uh, I went to work for a bunch of lawyers. That year, they flew me around to every place. I was living the life. And uh, you know, I don't know, I'm here. So that's the story. For you though, there's someone behind the email. There is a, a human being behind the email. It's not a joke, connections. Yeah, you're the connection. You email them enough. You guys are juniors. You could start kissing up to whoever you want from now. It's not that complicated. Go visit them, put yourself in their face, show them what you're doing. There is strategy. There is strategy. It works, it's effective. I did it, obviously, so that's that. That's why college guidance is important. That's my message there. <laughs>